What is up guys, Eternal here and welcome back to the channel. Today I decided to do something a little different and instead of Star Citizen I'm going to be talking about Cyberpunk 2077. I have recently acquired the game, I am about a third of the way through my playthrough because I've been doing a lot of the extra activities on the side and just exploring Night City to see what I can find, but I just wanted to give my honest first impression of Cyberpunk 2077. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. This is the first installment of my cyberpunk videos and I plan on doing more in the future because there is a ton of things to talk about in this game and there is a ton of content that some people may or may not be able to figure out easily. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's hop into the video. Alright, so for starters, Cyberpunk 2077 is a massive game. There are a ton of things to do, a ton of weapons to find, a ton of places to explore, all wrapped together in a beautiful setting that is Night City. If there's anything that is hands down my favorite thing about Cyberpunk 2077, it's just the city itself. There are so many different places to see, so many sites that unless you explore, you're not going to see them just by doing the normal missions. Night City has everything from the fancy business districts with the tall sky rises all the way down to the broken down ghost towns out in the middle of the desert that nobody wants to go to. Although if you explore those, you're likely to find something good. The amount of content in this game is staggering. There are tons and tons of missions that you unlock as you level up and there's even some side quests that you unlock just by walking around the city and coming into contact with a certain NPC or finding a random box just in an alleyway tucked out of the way where normally you wouldn't notice it. If there is one thing that is my favorite thing to do in Cyberpunk, it's just to run around the city and explore. You want to jump on everything, you want to go down every alleyway, explore all the shops and just see what you can find because there's a lot of loot that you can get in this game, like special iconic weapons and even some really good legendary weapons that you wouldn't normally find just by playing through the story alone. Cyberpunk is truly a game that rewards the player for exploring everywhere. So if there's one thing I can't stress enough about Cyberpunk, it's explore, 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 because you never know what you're going to find. Speaking of the different types of weapons you can find, there are a ton of different types of weapons in Cyberpunk. You've got smart weapons that automatically track your targets for you, so all you have to do is aim in their general direction. You have revolvers that are insanely powerful with headshot damage, power weapons, tech weapons, heavy weapons, blunt weapons that are non-lethal, so in case you need to fight some of those cyber psychos, you can take them down without actually killing them to gain a bonus when you complete those missions. One thing I will give CD Projekt Red a huge, huge compliment for is their storytelling ability throughout Cyberpunk. There are moments in this game, just in the little bit of it that I've played, because mind you, I haven't finished the entire main story yet, that will bring a tear to your eye just because either one of your favorite characters has been killed or just something heartbreaking has happened and there are also moments where you'll just laugh your ass off because it's just funny as hell the storytelling in cyberpunk is just top notch and i give huge props to the voice actors for being able to stay on point and deliver heartfelt performances and make the characters and the world come to life. Cyberpunk is one of the most immersive experiences I've had in a game so far and it's largely because of the voice actors and the writers ability to tell a story. You can make the greatest game ever with the best graphics but if your storytelling isn't top notch it's just a good game. Sometimes it's not even a good game, but I have to give Cyberpunk huge props for their storytelling ability. 
there are random events that happen every now and then just around you if you just stay long enough to pay attention to a conversation sometimes you'll get a nice little side quest out of it that might or might not give you some decent loot either way it's still fun to see it through to the end even if it is just to get a cheap laugh at the end of the side quest I won't go too much into detail into it here, but I do love the perk system and the leveling system that Cyberpunk has. Cyberpunk is a game that you can play without actually raising your attributes or putting points into perks until you absolutely need either that attribute or perk. I would recommend as you level up, just try to focus on getting better armor and better weapons and just hold off on committing your attributes and your perk points until you actually need something. Cause there has been several times where I wish I had just one more point to put into my body attribute so that I could rip open a door instead of having to take the long way around Around to get to my objective. It is definitely worth some time studying that tree and learning what each perk does so that you can map out a build that you would like to play with because certain skills do level as you use them in the game so if you want a specific build you do have to spend some time leveling the skills that go toward that build. There are a lot of nice vehicles in Cyberpunk and I would love to buy all of them, but that would be a lot of money in game to buy all of the vehicles that are available. But you do get some really nice vehicles as you play through the story absolutely free, some of which you have to go back and find them after you've completed a certain mission. But still, it's worth finding the free vehicles over buying the ones that cost an insane amount of money. Again, you are rewarded for exploring. As far as the handling on the vehicles goes, I only have one complaint and that's that I don't like the way that motorcycles handle in Cyberpunk. They seem a little clunky and hard to turn, but other than that, every car has its own individual feel to it based on how heavy or light it is. Some are good for drifting, some are good for going through desert terrain, some are good for just cruising slowly and enjoying the sights of the city, but all of them handle very well aside from the motorcycles. I have encountered a few bugs playing but I, I know a lot of people have. There are some that are just hilarious when they happen, like when you try to jump through a window and it sends you 200 meters away <laughs> from where you just were, or instances where you shoot a random NPC in the head and they fly about 100 feet in the air. It's just hilarious. There are some bugs where cars will get stuck in the road and then when you try to drive forward, it will force you out of the vehicle. And then there are other times when you try to call your vehicle to you and instead of stopping at you, it stops, honks its horn, and then for some reason or another drives away like it can't find you. There was a bug with one of Takamura's quests that wouldn't allow you to continue the conversation after he called you, but if I'm not mistaken, they just released a patch to fix that, so that is no longer an issue. Still, it was very annoying though. With all of that being said, overall, I really enjoy playing Cyberpunk personally. I know there are some people out there who don't really like the game in the state it's in right now, but honestly, I find most of the bugs that are in it at the moment amusing, seeing as how when you get bored, you can just shoot an NPC in the head and get a cheap laugh from it. The story is top notch. The setting of the game is amazing and there are tons of things that you can collect as far as armor, weapons, vehicles that are just really nice to have and some of those are an achievement in themselves just to find them and acquire them. I love the fact that this game allows you to pretty much be whatever you want to be no matter how you want to play the game and you are handsomely rewarded for exploring the city on your own terms just going off of the beaten path and walking around for a little while. Cyberpunk is a game that I will probably play for a while because the last week that I have had it, I have been addicted to it and I haven't touched any other game 
so you'll probably see a lot more cyberpunk videos from me in the near future but don't worry for those of you who did subscribe for my star citizen content i will still continue to do guides reviews and updates on the development it's just i wanted to add another game to my repertoire and cyberpunk seemed to be right in the ballpark of the style of games that i like with all of that being said i'm going to end the video here and i hope you have enjoyed my little first impression slash review of cyberpunk 2077 if you did comment down below tell me what your favorite part of cyberpunk is tell me what your favorite gun car mission any of that is and if you found this video interesting or helpful in any way, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Until next time, guys, I have been Eternal Pain, and I will see you in the next video.